Hi folks, Rick here. Welcome to my channel. All right, well today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the lower steering stand bearing on your Yamaha Raptor. So before we get started there, I've already got the parts, so let's go ahead and take a look at them, because I think it's easier to kind of explain on the table versus uh, you know trying to get in there and stand on our head there and try to get this thing out. So uh, let's get reset up. All right, folks, so I've got here the items here we really need to replace the steering stem bearing. So we've got a couple things here. So there's a seal that goes on the bottom uh, of there that keeps the dirt out. You've got your bearing, obviously, which we want to replace. You've got this retaining nut here, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then you've got an upper seal here as well. So those are all the things you're gonna need. You don't necessarily have to buy this uh, ring. Uh, I think it's nice just to have it by the time you get this thing out. Who knows what kind of shape it is. It's nice just to have something new to go back in. If you look at this though, this thing is all thread. So it's gonna thread down in to your uh, little holder on there. And then you can see it's kinda got you know, a hexagon shape in there. So there's a special tool you buy to stick that in there. Or what I did is went to the hardware store and bought a large nut. And this nut here will fit inside and I can hopefully get a wrench or a socket on it and twist. Unfortunately here, this nut here, this is the biggest nut I can find. It's a little bit too small. So I might have to stick a washer on each side here, but hopefully this thing's not super tight. I think this will work. But uh, that or you're gonna have to make something here to get this out. You might be able to get in there with a screwdriver in a punch, but I hate doing that. But we'll see on this thing. Um, but yeah, not too bad. It's not too expensive there. Two seals of bearing, and if you want to replace this, it's a good, good thing here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, kind of show you here some things you got to do to get started before we actually start removing this bearing. So let's go over here to the bike and, and take a look at that. Okay. So a couple things here, you're going to want to take off your front plastics, your tank uh, plastics here, and slide your tank back. It's just going to make it a little easier here. Uh, we're going to need to end up loosening or removing this upper stem bushing. You might want to think about getting new seals or just replacing that. We're going to have to take off our handlebars here just to give us some room to lift up here. You might build the stretchers out a little bit, but I'm going to remove mine off there. And then we need to get down here. If you've got a steering stabilizer, you need to um, go ahead and uh, loosen that arm. And then I get repositioned here. Hopefully we can see it. So here's what we're doing underneath here is we have got to get to this bolt right here, or nut. So we've got a cotter pin. Uh, go ahead and remove this cotter pin. Take this bolt here off. Then we're gonna wanna go up there and remove our handlebars, take off that uh, steering stem bushing up on the top, and then just lift this whole thing out here. It's not a bad idea as well if you want to go ahead and stick a mark like maybe where this hole is, put the mark back up on here, you know, up on your um, little arm here there, just to make sure they get in line. You wanna make sure everything's in alignment when you put it back in, your handlebars are not straight. So I'm gonna go ahead here and uh, start to get this one off here and then we'll get the steering stem out of the way and then we'll get in there and show you how to get that darn bearing out of there. All right. I got the um, lower stem nut down off there as you can see there. Um, it's pretty tight. I think it's, I'll have to look at the manual. I think it's a hundred and something foot pounds. It's a lot. Check your manual when you go to put it back on. Uh, I think it's like a 22 millimeter. I didn't have one that fit 21's a tad small. I think it's a 22. I ended up using a 7.8. That's what I had. That worked fine there. So I got that off. So now uh, I'm gonna get up here and on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take off my uh, steering bar mount here, slide that forward. Then I'm gonna unloosen our upper stem bushing and hopefully I can pull this thing right out. So uh, let me get after it. All right, so I got that uh, bottom steering nut off, got the top bushing off. I just 
slid off my steering stem. I honestly had to take my handlebars off. So that gave me access to the bearing down here. So once I took off your, your lower um, steering arm thing there, it just flops down. If you look in here though, on the bottom, it's really hard to see with my finger there, but right, I don't know where the heck it's at, right there, there's a seal on the bottom. We're gonna get in there and uh, pull that out. And then, uh, where's it at here? Oh, right there. You can see this one here, another seal at the top. So we'll get those two seals out. That's gonna give us access to that retaining nut and we're gonna try to get that out. Then we'll try to work on getting our bearing out. Um, hopefully it comes out easy. I still got my skid plate on. I'm gonna try it with that. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we'll see. So let me go ahead and get these pull uh, these two um, seals out. We'll get the nut installed. I'll get a wrench going, and then we'll see if we can't get that um, little retainer nut out of there. All right, folks. There just isn't any good um, angle on this thing, so apologize for that. But I've got the seals out. Hopefully you can see my finger. I've got uh, some penetrating oil in here. I'm gonna stick our nut down this hole. And I'm gonna stick a ratchet in the socket here. In fact, I'm gonna get my breaker bar. Hopefully I can find a spot and get this in here again. I doubt you're gonna be able to see anything. Well, let's just see if I can. Oh heck! So far, oh, I might have just broke it loose. Holy cow! Let me get repositioned here. I got too much garbage in the way. Oh, you just can't. There's just no room to get in this thing. So this is the struggle here. It's just getting room, finding room here to get on here. If I had some of my other stuff off here, it might make it a little easier. I'm gonna go down with this little ratchet here. Again, might not even be able to see it. Uh, little ratchet here seems to be broke as well. Always got to have some type of drama. Man, it just, it's just like right, <laughs> it's right. I need to find a, a 13 tooth socket here because this thing just isn't getting it here. Ratchet just sucks here. All right. Well, you can see how that's going. I'm not even sure if you can see how that's going, but uh, it's going to be here a while. I'm just going to have to inch this out. I got to get a different ratchet. But it's coming off. I'm just going to keep screwing this off, and then when I get it off, we'll go to work on the bearing. All right, I got my retaining nut off. Hopefully here, I, I cleaned everything off really good. This thing just—I I pushed it out a little bit, but I was able to get this out by hand. Um, but let's go. Uh, let's go on the table here and take a look at some of the stuff. All right, 
So I got it out. Here's the little nut again. This one's not in bad shape again. Do I need to get a new one? No. But it's just nice having a brand new one. I ain't got to worry about it. They do put light Loctite on there. I'm going to do some thinking on this. Um, it wasn't that hard getting out. I don't know why you'd put Loctite. There's no reason for it to come out. I really have the desire to put anti-seize, but the manual says put Loctite, so I'll probably do that. Here's this bearing. I don't know if you can see this thing wiggle here or not. It's just shut. And you just, I don't know if you can see anything moving there or not. Probably not, but anyway, this bearing shot here. So what we want to do now at this time here is just go ahead and really clean that bearing cup out, get it really nice. You want to, uh, on the bottom of your, uh, let me go back over here, on the bottom of your uh, steering knuckle deal down there, you want to make sure this piece up there, your bearing seal rides on that bearing seal. So that's got to be super, super clean. Same thing on the end of your steering stem on the upper piece. There's a, um, it looks very similar to this. You want to make sure that's pretty clean. Get everything spotless on this thing that you can. Then we're going to go and start putting our seals on. And so again, I still got my, uh, uh, yeah, and ink. Clean all this crap up under here. This is where your lower seal goes. Get everything in here nice and clean. Now's the time to go ahead and do it. And then uh, I'm gonna try to press this seal in here. Again, I got my skid plate on. That's gonna be tough. You, you know, if you stood this thing up on its end and took your skid plate off, this job would probably be a lot easier. I just, uh, I can't get mine up and I don't feel like spending time taking off my skid plate. It's so smashed, the bolts are smashed. It's, a, it's a, a chore, so I don't take it off uh, until winter time, and then I, I put it back together with all new bolts and stuff like that. So I just don't feel like doing it. But that's up to you. It goes pretty easy. So let me get this thing all the way cleaned up, and we will start bolting it back together. All right, so I've got everything cleaned up under there as best I can. I want to kind of do it in reverse order. We're going to go ahead and install our bearing in there first. Then we're going to put this retainer in there. This retainer's got like a little lip on one end of it. That's going to go down, and so it sits on the, the, the race on this one right here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done um, and tighten this thing up. The, the torque on this one, let's see what here. What the hell is that thing? It's showing like 47 foot-pounds for that thing right there. Check your manual. Don't rely on the torque values from someone off the internet, especially me. I probably misread the thing there. I'm not torquing a thing. I'm just kind of tightening the damn thing up. I did break down and put some blue Loctite on there. I honestly felt some anti-seize would be better, but I'm going to go ahead and follow the manual this time. Put some blue Loctite. That stuff's not that good. If you put a little heat to it, it just it comes right off anyway, so I think I'm fine. So I'm going to put the bearing in. Hopefully it slides in there. Otherwise, I'll heat up the little cup and slide it in put this in, get her tightened on, and then we will try to get these seals in. All right, folks, I got my uh, bearing in. I got my um, retainer in there tight. Uh, now it's time to put the seals in. So this is gonna be fun as I can't get into them here, but you got a small one and a large one. The small one goes on the bottom. As you can see here, this right here goes up. So this goes against the bearing. So you're gonna stall it like this. In this top one, see the bottom there? It's actually gonna go down. So the, the um, you know, it seals here on the outside. This one here seals on the outside, but it's upside down. What I like to do on these things here is pack them full of grease. So I'm gonna get underneath here where I slide this um, seal into, all the way up in the cavity where the bearing is. Let's see, I don't know if we can even see it in here. But I'm going to get in here, up under this section right here. I'm going to pack this thing, whole thing in here full of grease. And I'm going to do the same thing here on the top. Pack it all full of grease. Then I'm going to put my seals on. Now when I slide my steering stem through, you know, a lot of that grease is going to come out. I need to, you need to put some grease on the, the uh, stem on that one there anyway. Uh, we'll get to that. But uh, it's always good there. You want to grease the stem when you put it back in. It goes through the bearing, keeps it from rusting. But I like putting in this grease. I think that helps keep water, contamination, and rust out of there. So 
that's the next project. You're not going to be able to see me do this. Probably going to be fighting. Well, I ain't got no focus there. Probably going to be fighting with this thing. Hopefully not. Again, I'm trying to do this here, uh, not in the best, um, not under the best of conditions here. I'm just trying to cut, cut a few corners and get this done for myself there. But sometimes that takes you longer. So anyway, uh, yeah. Next step, we'll get these on, and uh, that's it. I'll be just wrapping it back up. All right, folks. There you can see the upper seal. It's all in. It's got some grease. I forgot to take these pictures earlier. And if we go under here, you can see the bottom one. Probably got too much grease. You know, as it was, these seals, um, they pressed right in by hand. Really simple to get in. I had no problems, both top and bottom. Just slid them right in, and uh, they all work good. So this job here is done. I'm just going to now... At this point, I'm um, going to go ahead and, you know, put this whole thing back together. I got to get the, uh, put the steering stem back in, retighten everything up, and good to go. So, yeah, that's how you, um, you know, replace that lower steering stem bushing. Really wasn't that hard, or steering stem bearing, excuse me. Uh, the bearing itself wasn't too hard. Um, you know, I struggled a little bit. They're getting that retaining bolt out, just trying to get a, a socket in there. I ended up, the ratchet I had was broke. I got a different ratchet, and you just inch it out. It all comes out. Um, again, very simple job. We're going to slide the stem in and just bolt it up on the bottom again. And, uh, yeah, this will be good to go. So that's how you replace one of these things. Very simple to do. Uh, you know, most ATVs are very similar to this one. So, uh, yeah, take care. We'll see you out there.